Hey, 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 welcome my wonderful Pisces. How are you guys doing tonight? It is the 4th of July here, um, so you guys are going to have to excuse the uh, fireworks in the background, okay? And because it is the 4th of July, I know I have been kind of fasting from alcohol, but I, yeah, I am drinking me a cold beer as we speak. So if you see me sip, yeah, it's 4th of July, so I'm having me a beer. Um, okay, guys, so a little disclaimer before we jump into your readings. I know that my videos may not be for everyone. I do delve into um, some self-mastery work as well as some metaphysics and some um, occult science stuff. Uh, and this may not resonate with everyone. So I talk about self-mastery, how you master your emotions and your mind, okay? And not everybody's interested in doing the work so you can jump right on up you know you can click off now you can find plenty of other readers and youtube that can fit your fancy okay you guys are my last video tonight pisces <clears throat> you were the third top ranking this week so that's how we're gonna be doing the videos all right so for my new um if you're new to this video, I want to welcome you. Thank you so much for clicking this video. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you for coming on back, all right? Um, I want to say shout out to all my 1111 um, clients that have reached out for your personal readings. I appreciate y'all. As well as my regulars, I appreciate y'all too. <clears throat> okay. Um... We're going to jump into your reading. These videos are for my empath, my light workers, anyone that feels they're on their spiritual path, their spiritual journey. If you feel you may be ascending, if you feel there's some energy in the atmosphere and you can't quite put your finger on it, but you know there's some shit going on, you may be able to find something here, okay? If you're into astrology, numerology, or signs and symbols from the cards, you may be able to find something here also, okay? This is all about synchronicity. This is all about self mastery three okay so if you're into motivation encouragement inspiration guidance uh and just messages from your guides you may be able to find that here also all right my wonderful wonderful pisces we're gonna pull your two chakra cards okay for the newcomers i am a reiki a certified reiki healer so i do deal with your chakra systems in your reading <clears throat> okay Worker Highlight jumped out, so we're going to put this back, okay, and then see what else comes out. We're going to thank your angels. We're going to thank your guys. We're going to thank our ancestors. We're going to thank our higher selves. We're going to thank the divine masculine and feminine. We're going to thank all of the positive energy in the atmosphere that is here to guide, protect, comfort, okay, and to help us take action and have the strength when needed, okay? So I know last week, what was popping out was that I needed to really let people know about their dark side, okay? And really explain to them what that is um, so they're not afraid of it, okay? So I don't know why I'm feeling led to do that again in your video because I did not do that in the, um, I think I did Aquarius and who else did I do? Capricorn. So I did not do that in their video. So I feel that to kind of let you guys know that your dark side, a.k.a. your shadow side, is the, the parts within yourself that you know not. The unknown parts within yourself that you run from. The unknown parts within yourself that you fear. Your insecurities, your past pain, your past hurt, okay? Uh, and just know that they have secrets to tell you about yourself, okay? Sometimes they can tell you how strong you are. Sometimes they can tell you where you can use your pain to help encourage others, okay? We all have a story, okay? So it's not so much about history, but it's a story or your story. Okay, we all have that, my wonderful Pisces, okay? So I'm feeling led to tell you that. I don't know why. I don't know where your reading is going to go. Woo! Okay. Okay. You got crown chakra activity. This is pure connection to spirit. Hence why you need to know your, um, your dark side versus your life side. You got crown chakra activity. <clears throat> your crown chakra is all about realization that you are a co-creator with God within. Okay, There is not a source without yourself. There is nothing that can hurt you unless you give it power to. You have to agree 
with the energy in order for the energy to affect you, okay? So this is all about self-mastery. When you learn these terms and you learn and you understand your power, your inner power, the magical power that you hold, okay? Um, even just by your thought process, by your emotions, by your imagination, okay? You understand... That once you release it, the law of vacuum kicks in, right? Because once something gets emptied, it needs to be refilled, okay? That's why when the fruit drops off, another one needs to grow. That's the law of vacuum. So once you release the dead shit, okay, Pisces, right? Once you release the dead shit, then the law of vacuum will then bring in, boom, creation, life, growth, okay? Now... I like to study, you know, my moon is a Gemini, so sometimes I can always be in my head, my sun is a Scorpio, and my rising is Leo, so sometimes my personality is a little bit strong and aggressive, you know, um, my Scorpio side, see the depths and everything, I can see through people, so don't, okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then, but the Gemini, my moon side, is what governs how my Scorpion side, right, um, um, projects outwardly. So, um, I use my Gemini, my Gemini intellect, right, to go deep within as a Scorpio, okay? So, what you need to understand is that there was never a point in time when you were separated from your inner being, from God within, from the creator, okay? You just have not released the shit that you need to so you can tap into your creation, or your creator within, okay? You have magical powers, Pisces, okay? Now, let me give you a little background about your sign, all right? Because I love astrology. Um, I'm not saying that I know everything about astrology. I study astrology, okay? So as I learn and I grow, you learn and you grow. So as I learn, I share, okay? So when I was studying um, Pisces, one of the things that I learned was you are known as the dustpan of the zodiac. Now, please don't be offended by that, okay? Let me give you the metaphysical or the spiritual meaning of that, okay? What that simply represents is because you are the last sign in the zodiac, right? You're the sign that's able to take all all everything in totality right so we're talking about from aries right that um all the way down to uh aquarius you're able to take all of that information um that you may have gathered within the 12 uh, the, the 11 months right and then you're able to dissect all of that understand it right and then you're able to put it into whatever belief system or whatever traditions you deem necessary okay this is why you need to release the dead shit, right, and start creating new shit. For my empath and my light workers, and for those of you that, that practice your spiritual, um, your spiritual rituals, this is all about creating your own spells. You know, this is all about creating your own affirmations. Okay, and when I say spells, I'm talking about words. Okay, I'm talking about linguistic. Okay, I'm talking about the God spell or the good spell. You have to understand all of this is via words. All of this is via you able to release the dead energy that's not being um um of servant to you. Okay, uh, it's no longer serving you. So what do I mean by that? What I mean by that, Pisces, is because you soak up other people's energy, you have to know how to release that shit. Example, if you walk into a room and you are happy-go-lucky, my wonderful Pisces, and then you realize all of a sudden, why wow, I feel so damn, why wow, I feel so heavy, understand that because you are a water sign, you observe other people's energy. That's what, you know, that's just energetically one of the things that happens to you. Okay, you are just naturally, I want to say, an empath. Okay, um, an energy empath, like an energy sponge. Okay, so be aware of that. Release the shit that's no longer serving you, release the pain. You're gonna have to have some conversations with people that may be uncomfortable, but that's all about releasing the emotions and releasing the tensions that no longer serve you. I'm also feeling some tightness in my solar plexus and my sacral chakra. Some of you may be going through a little anxiety, um, right now some panic attacks right and that's because you're not releasing shit that's because you're not speaking your truth that's because you're not dealing with shit yep see you got the five of m on the board aka your um your thinking your spiritual and your mental thinking the five of is all about that 
tension. Like, see, I felt it all in here. It's all about um, maybe even you feeling defeated. Maybe even some betrayal type energy going on. Maybe even some choices that you made that were not the best decisions. Okay? But what you're supposed to be learning, like I just explained to you, this is where you energetically um, master the zodiac, right? Energetically, you're all about understanding and then using that understanding to implement it into I believe, right? And implementing your own belief system and your own traditions, okay? So the five of ears is asking you to learn what you can from all of the dead shit, right? And then create new shit, okay? Uh, learn the lessons and release the shit, the heavy shit. Okay, and this is clarified by the four of um earth. Earth energy, my wonderful uh Pisces, is all about stability. Okay, earth energy is all about um your money. Uh, the pen. Earth energy is all about your money. Earth energy is all about stability, right? Earth energy is all about grounding, okay? This third dimensional realm, your five sense, your five senses, sensation, okay? Um, the four of earth is just asking you to be balanced in the way that you um you spend money. For those of you that are overspending, you want to watch that. For those of you that are being too tight with money, you also want to watch that, okay? What you need to understand is that money is energy, so you need to find balance, <clears throat> okay? You can't hold on too tight because that law of vacuum is not working. You need to be able to release, okay? Um, for some of you, this is you being methodical in your thinking about how you spend your money. For some of you, this is you coming into control, Um and having a more, I want to say, stable and security um, mental capacity, right? Because it's clarifying this five of ear energy, which is all about your thinking, okay? Especially when it comes um, to do with money or, you know. Um, so the first two cards, clarifying, release, and creation, represents your overall energy. So you're going to have to pay attention to your thinking when it comes to betrayal or loss, especially when it comes to your finances, okay? Maybe you didn't make some of the best decisions in your finances, but this is giving you an opportunity to, to do that, okay? Now, um, some of you need to give to people that may not have as much. Now, giving doesn't necessarily mean... Um, Money given could mean your time, okay? Giving could mean compassion. Now, you have to understand what compassion may mean to you, okay? Compassion doesn't always mean saying yes, okay? Now, giving doesn't also mean just giving somebody um, money and walking away, right? Um, maybe um, it, because you're not supposed to give out of pity, okay? When you give out of pity, then you, you can't receive. That's still not the right energy to give in. You need to give out of joy and give so it, it, it's kind of like, um, give responsibly is what I'm hearing, okay? Give responsibly is what I'm hearing. So it's for example, if you meet someone on the street that's, you know, going through a hard time, um, instead of giving a dollar or two, you know, um, because you feel guilty, right, um, or you feel sad that they're in that situation, why don't you offer that person a meal? Go sit down and have a meal with that person. Get to know that person, right? Give of your time. So, so it doesn't always have to be about money, Pisces, okay? You can learn a lot from people based on their situation, okay? Not everybody on the street is there because they're crazy or they have habits, all right? We're going to clarify this five of ear energy with this four of earth energy here, okay? We're going to use a vice versa deck to do that. All right, clarify what you want my wonderful Pisces to release and what you want them to know about um, whatever loss and betrayal they're feeling, especially when it comes to do with money. Okay, or whatever business decisions that they may need to make. Or maybe even their time that they may need to give to someone else in, in need of it. Now, some of so what, what I'm hearing that I need to tell you sometime, the best way to heal, right, your own pain is to help somebody else that's going through the same pain. Okay? Yep. We got the four of wands on the board, my wonderful Pisces. That's clarifying the five of ear and the four of ear. Now you have double fours. 
okay if you're into numerology you may want to google all right what um four when you're seeing four four okay we're going to see if you get triple fours but whenever you see something repeat itself you need to pay attention i know four is all about alchemy and self-mastery so some of you may want to look that up once energy has to do with your intuition so you want you want to pay attention to your intuition especially in your thinking when it comes to do with the situation concern and maybe giving of your time or giving of money okay um the four of wands is all about maybe even um this could represent um some type of marriage okay uh, maybe even some type of home or community maybe your tribe or your soul group okay Maybe some of you need to invest some of your time um, in some type of community, especially if you've lost somebody. Okay. Especially if you've lost somebody. You may want to get with some type of support group. Okay. All right. You got this, the, the King of Swords popping up on the board. The King of Swords represents your mental and your spiritual thinking. This is all about clear thinking coming in, okay? This is definitely all about clear thinking coming in. This is also about truth coming in, okay? Maybe you may gain some truth in this situation, okay? Um, especially to this loss or betrayal that you may have felt, okay? Okay. Yep. You could be getting some clear thinking here. Some truth coming in. Okay? Alright. Clarify what truth my wonderful Pisces may have coming in. Especially that they may need to release. Okay? And create new shit. Clarify for my Pisces what truth they may have coming in. Are definitely clear thinking about this um, situation, okay? But is this all about celebration? This could also represent a breakdown in communication here. But it's clear thinking coming in and truth is coming in here. Mm, wow, yep, you got the reset card. I love this fucking card. This is a, the fool card. This is all about reset, beginnings. All right, coming back to that place where, like, you could, you could clearing the slate, you know? Your free spirit coming back in, trusting your intuition. All right? Yep, see? This is all crown chakra activity here. Realizing your truth within. Realizing God within you. Okay? All right, we're going to go to your right now energy. Overall, it's saying some truth is coming in pertaining to this situation. Okay? Yep, you're going to gain whatever truth you need to know about this situation is going to come in. And it's going to allow you to reset and release and start anew. Okay, and this is if you're doing your work. And, this is if you're doing your work and you're not stuck as an energetic sponge and allowing this to weigh you down. Allow the law of vacuum to come in and release this shit so creation can come in. All right, what do you got for my right now? Energies for my wonderful Pisces. I need to eat something, y'all. We got the six of water. Clarified by the emperor card. Okay, six of water has to do with your emotions. Water is all about your emotions. I'm going to clarify that. Now, the six of water is like um, somebody is thinking about you. Somebody may, um, this situation may um, be bringing back memories of the past, okay? This could also be bringing back memories of your childhood for some of you, okay? Some of you could even be fantasizing about the past, or somebody could be fantasizing about the past with you. 
um, because of this betrayal energy and the shit that was done. You got the four card on the board, which represent the major kind of um, emperor, okay? Um, this is all about you being able to be organized, especially in your thinking. Structure and discipline is um, required now for you guys. Um, you need to be able to stand in a solid foundation within your emotions. This is why you're going to have to release it. Ooh, I just felt the heat wave. Ooh. Hot. Okay. Where did that heat come from? All right, my wonderful Pisces. We're going to clarify the Six of Water and the Emperor card. Clarify the Six of Water and the Emperor card. Yep, you need to take control of your emotions. Don't allow your emotions to overtake you, especially with all of this Cancerian energy. Okay, yep. You got the Five of Rainbow, a.k.a. the Five of Pentacles. Some of you may have been feeling insecure. Like, this relationship could have made you, made you feel insecure, especially financially insecure. Some of you are still, yeah, feeling like you were the outsider. Like, you, you know, was maybe even dependent on someone. Okay, know that you're able to recover from whatever financial loss this is. Okay? Ooh, excuse me. Yep, you got the eight of pentacles on the board. Okay, pentacles represent your finances. And number eight represents new beginnings. Okay, this is all about understanding um, that this was kind of like an apprenticeship. Okay, you needed to go through this. Okay, and you need to learn the lessons from this. And when ordinariness shows up, it asks you to take the lessons. Look at the beauty in things, right? Not so much at the pain, but look at the beauty that all of that can create for you, okay? Boom, creation. As you release shit, you can create shit. Okay, we're going to pull one more card to clarify this energy. Clarify for us. What you? What else you want my Pisces to know about bringing the emotions into balance? Ooh, that one just wanted to flew out, so we gonna get this. Oh, okay, this could represent maybe someone from your past. If not, uh, your past in this lifetime, it could be a past lifetime, and maybe some um um energy that needs to be cleared up there. Okay, this is going to represent the moon card on the board. So you definitely want to deal with your emotions. Things will be surfacing, especially as we're going through retrograde. Retrograde is all about bringing things back that you may need to pay attention to. You may need to release and heal, okay? So you got the release card and the creation card. All right, give me the last two cards for my wonderful Pisces. Final possible outcome of what they may need to work on. What you want my Pisces to know. You got the page of ear and the three of fire. Ear energy represents your thinking. Fire energy, a.k.a. the swords energy represents your intuition. When you see the page card, pages are like messengers. This is like whatever challenging information is coming your way or whatever delay in plans you may feel is... um coming forth or even if you get this truth over here that's coming forth it may not be delivered tactfully they may be kind of nasty when they bring this truth in so just prepare yourself for that but you still want to operate logically over here okay this is what this emperor is asking you to do take control of your emotions this is clarified by the three of fire fire energy is all about your intuition this is know that you got to prepare yourself for some shit some shit is coming down and just know that it's going to cause expansion, which is your abundance, okay? Just know that. I hear it's for your own good. It's not like I kind of feel like some of you would not move if this did not happen, okay? Some of you just got too comfortable, all right? Clarify this page of ear energy with this three of fire energy for my wonderful Pisces. It's kind of like this, this got you off your ass to do some things, okay? Yeah, a lot of healing going on, my wonderful Pisces. Yep, a lot of releasing so you can bring in new shit, okay? Create new. Clarify. Page of ear. And this three of ear energy from my wonderful Pisces. Yep, you got the five of swords on the board. So this is whatever conflict you have going on with whomever. This can be a family member, a lover, a friend, or a foe. 
there's some strife going on. Know that you're not in competition with anybody. Not even yourself, okay, Pisces? Know that. Yeah. Forgive yourself is what I'm hearing, as well as you're forgiving others, okay? Yep, you got the Two of Cups. So this definitely can do conflict with either your loved one, a partner in business, a best friend, you know, um, a close friend, a family member, a mother, father, brother, sister, cousin, aunt, uncle, okay? So this is definitely somebody that um, is, you know, close to you, okay? Yep, you got the Ace of Pentacles on the board. The Ace of Pentacles is all about manifestation. This is all about new financial opportunities. This could also be about new opportunities within this relationship where you can find, um, it, it can bring in healing. And maybe not just healing within your um, thinking, but also in your emotions, but also healing within your finances, okay? Just know that. All right, we're going to pull one more card, and then we're going to wrap your video up. And then this is the last one for me tonight because it is about 11.15 here. Yep, we got the Queen of Cups on the board. The Queen of Cups, my wonderful Pisces, is all about your emotions. This is emotional security. This is where you need to aim for. So you're going to get your ace. You're going to get your emotional security, which is really going to bring everything into balance because you do need to release some shit so you can create, okay? You need to release so you can create. And that is what I'm hearing for you, my wonderful Pisces. Yes. Okay. So make sure you guys check out the description box below where you can find the information for your 1111 reading, which is a 10 minute reading for a donation of $11 and 11 cents. I also have my girls Kim Warner's information in the description box. That's where you can get your natal chart information. We do, um, bi-weekly breakdown of the collective energy in the atmosphere and how that affects you on a personal level i posted the first video earlier last week oh was it last week earlier this week um so you guys can check that out we'll be doing the next one for um the lunar eclipse coming up on the 16th of this month so you can check that out too that's a lot of information maybe not so much card pulling but you can you know i don't pull so much cards i do pull some cards to get the overall collective energy but it's really about about you being able to learn and master who you are and how the zodiac and how the tarot and all of that interacts with you as an individual okay so make sure you check that video out i'll be posting the next one um before the lunar eclipse and make sure that you guys love yourself do something kind for yourself it's summertime drink plenty of water meditation is going to be key as you're shifting through these emotions and i will see you guys in your next reading my wonderful pisces be kind to yourself bye guys